See, lots of good work so far. That's good, real good. Okay, so our job right now, we're in the business of changing minus signs so we can use addition rule. So our business is pretty good because we have lots of minus signs up here. So we have negative 8 minus 2. We're not changing the negative 8. We are changing the minus 2. Remember this. You're going to change one sign into two signs or two signs into one sign. That's what we're doing. So here we do negative 8. We're going to do, we can't just make it a plus, but we can make it a plus as long as we make the 2 a negative. What I want to know is how many people did that right there. Good. That's good. Okay. Now we can use addition rule. Now we have the whole process of, oh, same sign or different sign, and you all say same sign. And then we go, do we add or subtract? And we go, oh, we add. Awesome. And we're going to keep the common sign. So hopefully on your paper you got a negative 10 right now. Did you get negative 10? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, next one. It's either one sign to two signs or two signs to one sign. You can even go a little bit further than that if you really want to. You can think about it like this. One sign to two different signs or two same signs to one different sign because they're switching right there, aren't they? That's kind of nice. Think about it that way. So we have minus and negative. We know we're going to change that into a, what is it? Uh -huh. So we should have 11. Plus 15, we add those together, we get 26, I think. Six minus nine, six minus nine. Are we more like the first one or more like the second one here? First one, first one. We have only one sign, right? Yes. We're going to change that into how many signs? Two. And they're going to be different signs, so that means plus a negative. So 6 plus negative 9, we're going to use addition rule there. They have different signs. We'll subtract sign of the bigger number. You should have gotten negative 3. Did you get negative 3? Yes. Perfect. Okay, moving on. we got negative 9 minus negative 1. Oh, my gosh. That has two signs together. They're the same signs. We're going to combine those to make one sign. So this one we'll leave alone. However, the minus and negative, we have to be able to ch see that and change it. What are we going to make that? Negative 9 plus 1. So the minus and negative changes to just a plus. How much? Great. Yeah, addition rule, subtract, sound a bigger number. Only two more to go. We've got negative 14 minus 5. Are we case 1 or are we case 2? Case 1 or 2 with this? One. Definitely 1. It's just minus right there. Not, not 2 by minus and a negative, just our minus. Negative 14 will leave. We're going to do plus. Are you writing like that, by the way? Yeah. I hope you are. I hope you're, you're letting me see that work on that, because that's going to allow me to, even if you got the wrong answer, if you showed me that, at least I know you know what you're doing, and you just made a math error. All right? So the more sh steps you show me, the more partial credit I can give you on a test. That's a good thing. If you just go from here to the wrong answer, I give you nothing. If you go from here to here, and then you just screw something up and put um, 23, or 20, I'm sorry, 22, maybe 22 or something like that, or you mess up the positive or whatever you did, or you did like negative 18 or something just a little bit off. If you do that, then at least I give you partial credit for doing this step. If you go straight to a wrong answer, I can't give you anything. Does that make sense to you? Yes. This one happens to be negative 19. Last one we got on the board here. We've got the minus and negative. That's two signs. We're going to change the two same signs into one different sign. That's going to be negative 3 plus 4. We'll use the addition rules. Different signs mean we're subtracting. Sign of the bigger number gives us a positive 1. What I'd like to know is how many people got at least 
two of these right. That means two or more. Keep your hands up if you got three or more right. Four, five, all six. Good for you guys. Good if you got all six. That's fantastic. You know, just like addition, uh, we can probably chain some of these things together. So let's look at a couple chain problems where we have more than just two terms. See how to accomplish those and move on. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's nice. We love these ones. Okay. Well, too bad. We gotta do it anyway. Oh, well. Well, you know what? We can go through this problem first. And instead of just going step by step, left to right, what we're gonna do is go through one time and change anywhere we see a minus first. Then we can go step by step from the left using addition rules. Does that make sense to you? So first thing we're going to do, change the minuses. So I'm going to make a little note, make one on your paper. Change all the minuses first. So we'll go ahead and do that. Also, if you have plus signs, don't change the plus signs. That's what you want. So if there's plus signs in there, don't change those. Now, there aren't any right now, but in the next problems, we're, we're going to get some pluses. We don't want to go about changing those back to minuses. That would be a waste of time. So we're going to leave the plus signs alone. So change the minuses first, don't change the plus signs. So first thing we're going to do, let's go through this together. Everywhere we see a minus, we're going to use one of our two cases to change that to a plus somehow. So we're looking at 7 minus 8. With 7 minus 8, am I going to change the minus to just a plus or a plus negative? You tell me. Okay, so let's do that. So 7 plus negative 8. Do you follow? Okay, next thing says... Minus negative 5. Can you tell me what minus negative 5 becomes? Five. So we're going to do that. Right there, that makes it a whole lot easier. Minus and negative changes to a plus. So we can see that a lot better. And lastly, we'll do minus 1 changes to what now? Negative. Just a plus? Negative. negative. Minus becomes a plus negative. Minus a negative becomes a plus. Minus becomes a plus negative. Now we can use the addition rule from left to right because that looks exactly like some of the problems we just had on your homework. This is it. It's about the same thing. So we'll go through left to right. Let's do this together. Uh, what is our 7 plus negative 8? Let's do that real quick. Negative 1. Good. We have different signs. We'll subtract, sign a bigger number, and we'll write the rest. Remember, we're doing this step by step because we're, we're learning this stuff right now. If you know it, that's, that's fine, but we're learning right now. And so we are going to go step by step until we get super good at this and you're in calculus and you can do this in your head, no problem. But for right now, we're going step by step. Next, we'll do the negative 1 plus 5. Negative 1 plus 5, everybody, how much negative 1 plus 5? Oh, 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 Different signs, subtract, sign the bigger number. And lastly, we have 4 plus negative 1, we're going to get? 3. 3, sure. We have different signs, we'll subtract, we'll keep the sign of a bigger number, we get positive 3. If you did this on your own and you made a mistake, that's okay, you're still learning right now, but I want you to watch where your mistakes are being made, okay? I, I don't want you just to go, oh, I made a mistake, let's try the next one. I want you to evaluate what happened. Please start doing that. That's the only way you, you learn. 
Uh, that's the only way we're going to make it past the Math 80 level in this class. Um, so what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is, Jeff, I see you all answer one question. Um, if you made a mistake in your signs, don't go from here to here or here to here, that's something you need to watch out for in the future. That's something that you really need to make a conscious effort to improve. If you messed up on your addition rules, then you know you, you're not exactly making mistakes here, but maybe your addition rules are a little bit off. Okay? That's where you need to focus your time and energy. So understand where you're making mistakes, that way you can go back and fix it. At this level, you're in college, right? It's not all about me. It's really all about you. Um, you're the one who's supposed to be going back and studying and helping yourself. I, I give you the information, I explain it the best that I can, but it's up to you to really improve your own education here. Did you, did you kind of get my point? You're past the, the level where I hold your hand. Uh, you're to the point where you take responsibility for your own educations. If you need help on this, then you come and see me and by all means I'll help you. But you should be understanding where your mistakes are coming from, what you're doing, and then remedying that situation all on your own uh, without me having to show you that every single time. So start doing that on your own. Jeff, question. Seriously, I rambled that long. You forgot your question. <laughs> oh, bummer. That happens to other people all the time. I, don't I talk just too much, and I talk over people like I just did, and then you know I forget. I remember. Now. Um, what is it? I didn't. I didn't change. It's not a big deal, but I didn't change the negative one at the end, and I still got the same answer. Yeah. You know what? If you do, because you're just four minus one. Yeah, you're a yeah. positive minus a positive. I wouldn't do it. Like, That's fine. All this stuff. Um, if you go ahead. If you change them as you go, yeah, sometimes you won't have to change the last one. I prefer changing them all, that way you know what you're dealing with. It's just the way I like to do it. Why don't you try one on your own and see what we get. There we go. Okay, let's see what happens on this thing. Now, first off, I do like to go through and change all the minuses. That way I only have to do it once. I don't have to keep thinking about it. So with this problem, I read this in my head. I hear negative 6. I'm going to leave that. I hear minus 5. So I'm going to write negative 6. And instead of minus 5, I'm going to change it to plus negative 5. Then I hear minus 2. I'm going to change it to plus negative 2. And lastly, plus 3 because we have minus a negative. Did you make it that far? Yes. Very good. Guys over here, left side. Okay, I see a lot of head nodding. That's do you good. Have the parentheses around the five and the two? You know what you do? Um, just because that says that.